All right, so let's talk about general properties of the sun. Mass, big. Radius, big. All right, that's all you need to know. All right, what about the composition? Yeah, I would want you to know that the sun is made of hydrogen and helium, just like in outer space, but it's about three quarters hydrogen and about one quarter helium. Now, if you want to put on your note card that it's 71% hydrogen and 27% helium, you can do that. But notice that there's more hydrogen than there is helium inside the sun. Okay, I did want you to know the magic temperature, which is 10 million Kelvin. So 10 million Kelvin is going to be the uh, temperature needed to ignite a star. So the temperature inside the core of a star must be 10 million Kelvin before the hydrogens have enough energy to smash into each other and turn into helium. Now you'll notice here though, it says that the temperature inside the sun is 15 million Kelvin. That's because it goes up a little bit higher before it stabilizes. So for the exam, make sure and know this 10 million Kelvin thing. Okay, then the luminosity, it's bright. Okay, very, very bright. It, had, it gives off a lot of energy per second. And then you can see it's converting a lot of hydrogen into a lot of helium every second. Okay, the interior of the sun. Yes, you should know the different layers of the inside of the sun. And we're going to get to that in just a moment. So I went over in class and I talked about how do we know the different layers inside the sun. Okay, and we said that they were predicted by the equations of stellar structure. Don't worry about it, okay? So I'm not going to ask you how do we know that the sun has the different layers on the inside. So that means the stuff about stellar modeling, don't worry about it. Okay, but I did want you to know what helioseismology is. So helioseismology is the study of the quaking of the sun, and then from the way that the sun is quaking, we can map the inside of the sun the same way we can map the inside of the earth. Okay, you should know these different layers. Okay, so starting off with the core, that's where the nuclear explosions are taking place. So the temperature in the core is that 15 million Kelvin thing. Okay, then outside the core is the radiative zone, which is radiating. Outside of the uh, radiation zone is going to be the convective zone, which is convecting. And then outside of that is the photosphere. So the photosphere is the visible part of the sun. So if you're to look at the sun, don't look at the sun. But if you're to look at the sun, you would be looking at the photosphere. So that yellow thing, the yellow ball, you're looking at the surface of the sun, which is the photosphere. And then you should know, let's lump together chromosphere and corona. Let's put those two together and just call that the atmosphere of the sun. That's the part of the sun that you can see during an eclipse. So during an eclipse, you'll see this pearly glowing thing around the sun and you're looking at its atmosphere when you do that. And then you should know what the solar wind is. So it's the debris that's blown off of the sun. Okay, um, you should know what uh, a sunspot is. So like, there is a close-up picture of a sunspot. Don't worry about the granulation thing. Okay, you should know uh, what is the magnetic field of the sun? So what causes 
the magnetic field of the sun. So go back in your notes, read it in your textbook, how is the magnetic field of the sun created? Okay, here is what sunspots look like on the sun. So this is, was a close-up view of a sunspot, those black areas, and then this is what they actually look like. So you should know for the exam what is a sunspot and how are they created. So a sunspot is going to be where magnetism is coming out and then where magnetism is going into the sun. Okay, they are actually cooler than the surrounding yellow part. Okay, that's because the magnetic field that is coming out and then going in, it's holding the heat inside the sun. So the heat can get out at the yellow parts, and so they're going to be hotter than at the black, black parts. Now, in actuality, those sunspots are not black. They just appear to be black. They're actually blindingly bright. It's just that everything else, the yellow part, is so much hotter than what the black part is, it makes it look black in comparison. Okay, then this is called the Babcock cycle. And so you should understand that as the sun is rotating, it causes the magnetic field lines to wrap around the sun and then the heat from the inside of the sun will cause that magnetic field to bulge out so that if, if this is the uh, let's say that that's the surface of the sun then the heat which is coming from the inside and is trying to get out will cause that magnetic field to bulge like that and so this would be a sunspot, and then this would be a sunspot. Okay, and then uh, the sunspots eventually get very close to each other. And so you, uh, this would be a sideways view, uh, looking at the surface of the sun and then this would be a sunspot. So the sunspots are actually sideways. And so when the south pole of one sunspot sees the north pole of a sunspot underneath it or above it, they're going to be drawn to each other and then cancel each other out in a titanic explosion. So eventually sunspots go away after a certain period of time. Okay, and then let's not worry about prominences or solar flares. Okay, then you got the PP chain. So it's called the PP for proton-proton chain. Now in your homework, you needed to know the, uh, exactly how is hydrogen turned into helium with those intermediate steps there. For the exam, I just want you to know that the PP chain takes hydrogen and it turns it into helium. So that's it. If you want to, to uh, learn more about how it physically does it, then watch that video uh, or read those captions that are on there. All right, and then the rest of this uh, lecture was in the appendix. And so these were derivations, which you don't need to know for the exam. Okay, so let's take a break, and when we come back, we're going to go to our next lesson.